If you're running an organization or if you're a leader, your time is the most valuable asset you have. And everybody agrees I've got to do a better job managing my time. Everybody says I've got to do a better job. What I'm trying to show them in chapter two is how. Invariably, when a business or a leader is struggling, there is a severe mismatch between the top three to five priorities and how they're spending their time. Usually I find a lot of what executive time is spent is wasted. And what's it wasted on? People come to your door and they say, Rob, I'd like you to get involved in this, or I'm having a dispute with so-and-so, or can you do such and such? And most of the time when somebody comes to my office and asks for my time, my first reaction is to feel flattered. Well, that, you know, it's nice to be needed and wanted. And, uh, and of course, yes. Wherein the fact of the matter is what you should be doing instead is looking at those three to five priorities, driving to make sure you're spending not all your time, but at least 70 or 80% of your time on those priorities. And maybe when they're asking you to get involved, the right answer is no. Those are the items that you delegate. If you're not grounded in knowing the three or four or five things you're trying to do, I can assure you your time's gonna be all over the place. The next thing to do is encourage all your direct reports and leaders to the same thing. And it's a very powerful thing when you have three or four or five priorities and your organization is driving against those by spending its time on it, and it doesn't happen by accident. It's a conscious effort to, to match those things up.